Hello, and welcome to another Orca 3D video tutorial. In this video, we'll go over how to create an Orca 3D design for stability analysis with tanks and compartments. And at the end, we'll touch on the basics of compartmentation. Orca designs are a new feature for Orca version 3. Instead of storing the geometry of your vessel as one or more surfaces, the geometry is stored as a 3D volume. This volume can be subdivided into fillable tanks, damageable and floodable compartments, or even as non-buoyant structures like deck houses, which can still contribute to wind and stability effects. In short, Orca designs transform your model from a collection of surfaces into something more like a real vessel. Creating an Orca design starts with setting up your Rhino document. Go to the Orca menu button and then head all the way down to Properties. First, set Orca's units. These are separate from the document's Rhino units, which only cover length. Orca uses a whole unit system for everything from pressure to viscosity. There are a few prepackaged unit systems, like SI or Imperial, but you can also set your own custom units. Next, make sure that your model orientation settings match with how you lay out your vessel in the Rhino model space. For a vessel with its stem at the origin, with longitudinal coordinates running aft, the bow points into the negative x direction. So we'll set forward to negative x. For more information about Orca's units, orientations, and setting up a Rhino template with these settings, we have a video all about it. Link in the description. After your document is set up, you should consider adding a frame system to your model. Now, you don't need a frame system to create an Orca design or to access any other functions in Orca. However, a well set up frame system can make working with your design a lot easier. It provides a visual reference, and you can snap objects to frames, including bulkheads for subdivision. More on that later on. If you want to know more about frame systems, check out our upcoming video all about it. It'll pop up here and be linked in the description once it's posted. You can also consult the help files installed with Orca. We are ready to turn our hull into an Orca design. In the Orca 3D menu, head to Advanced Hydrostatic Slash Stability, then Subdivision, then Design Slash Components, and then Create New Design. We can also use the dedicated button in the Create Design toolbar, or go to the Orca panel, bring up the model tree, and right-click on the Orca 3D Designs folder. It prompts us to name our new design. Here, we can also set our orientation or set up a frame system if we haven't done those already. Click OK. Now, select the surfaces that make up your hull component. But just selecting the hull doesn't work. That's because components must be closed volumes with no openings. In this case, it means selecting our hull, deck, and transom together. You'll also notice some options in the command line. We currently only have the starboard half of our vessel modeled, so we'll enable the mirror option. Let's try it but we still get this error. While our three surfaces form half of a closed volume, and we've mirrored this half across center line, the two open half volumes do not automatically form a single closed one. We need to enable the join command option to fuse the two halves. Finally, check the delete input option. If it says yes, then the selected surfaces will be deleted once the Orca design is added. If it says no, they'll stay. Most users should probably set this to no. Right-click or press Enter to add the hull component to the Orca design. Next, Orca will ask you to select the geometry of the next component in your design. But what is a component? Each Orca design is made up of components. The hull is now a component. You can use multiple components within a design to represent the separate hulls of a multi-hull, or hull protrusions like skegs, or a deck house, 
or even an accommodation block within a superstructure. Splitting the vessel into components gives us more control over it. We can assign different properties to different components. We can also subdivide each component differently. Let's add our deck house. Use the name command option and name the new component deck house. We'll mirror and join our two halves just like we did with the hull. Finally, select the geometry. Notice how my selection includes a bottom surface to the deck house. Without it, the new component wouldn't be a closed volume. Right click or press enter to add the deck house component to the design. Then again to add the design to the document. Now we can see our orga design right in our document. But we can also see the input geometry that wasn't deleted. To see our design's components, Go to the Orca 3D panel, then to the Model tree, where we can find our Orca design. Under this, we can see its components. Clicking on the components highlights them in the model space. We've successfully created an Orca design with multiple components. One of the most useful features of an Orca design is subdividing the design into different compartments. Let's do that now. We'll start by adding a transverse bulkhead. Go to the Orca 3D menu, then Advanced Hydrostatic Stability, then Subdivision, then Compartments, and then click the option labeled Subdivide. Next, select the component that you want to subdivide. Look for these red labels. We'll select our hull component. Then we'll set our subdivision type by going to the Type command option. These first three options split the component along simple planes, bulkheads, and decks. These other options allow for more complex subdivision, like corrugated bulkheads or thruster tunnels. But that's a topic for another time. For today, we'll stick with planar subdivisions. Select Transverse Bulkhead. Then, place the subdivision on your model. If you've set up a frame system, and in the Orca 3D View tab, you have the Snap to Frames option checked. Your cursor should snap directly to the points on your frame system, allowing for easy placement of your subdivision. Our whole component has now been divided into two separate compartments. Each of these compartments has its own customizable properties. You can edit the properties of a compartment by going to the Orca menu then to Advanced Hydrostatics slash Stability, then Subdivision, then Compartments, and then Compartment Properties. Click the compartment that you want to edit, then right-click or press Enter. You can change the compartment name, as well as its default permeability. Note that each compartment has its own default permeability set here. You can also change whether or not the compartment is watertight, or in other words, whether or not it contributes to buoyancy. You can also designate a compartment as a tank. Tanks are special compartments which can simulate being filled with fluid, like diesel oil or ballast water. For tanks, you must set the default contents here. Both this and the default permeability can be changed later for individual load cases. But that's a topic for another video. In a future video, we'll dive deeper into Orca's compartmentation and subdivision. But for now, hopefully you feel a little more comfortable creating an Orca design. Thanks for watching, and check out the Orca 3D channel for more how-to videos. Got more questions? Get more answers with the help resources in the description.